Are you implementing response to intervention and some of your students continue to struggle even with tier two instruction? Here's what you should do. Hi, I'm Julia Ferrari. I'm an expert on learning disabilities and education at the LD Institute and I'm passionate about ensuring that students with LDs reach their full potential. Today, I'm going to talk to you about tier three instruction. RTI is a framework for efficiently meeting the needs of all students, in particular those with or at risk for learning disabilities. Within RTI, students receive instruction that is closely matched to their needs in increasingly intensive tiers. If you would like to learn more about RTI, please check out our video titled Response to Intervention. What is Tier 3? In Tier 3, students receive individualized, evidence-based intervention in the area in which they struggle. Intervention is usually provided by a special educator, resource teacher, or some other specialist. The purpose of Tier 3 instruction is to provide intensive, individualized instruction to students who continue to struggle despite receiving Tier 2 instruction. Tier 3 provides remediation to facilitate the acquisition of skills. Who receives Tier 3 instruction? If Tier 1 and Tier 2 instruction consists of high-quality, evidence-based practices that are implemented with fidelity, we would expect that 1 to 5% of students need Tier 3 instruction in order to be successful. Typically, students requiring Tier 3 instruction are identified after they have received Tier 2 instruction and did not make adequate progress. Progress could be determined by their level of performance, for example, by comparing their score to an established benchmark norm, or based on their rate of growth or slope on progress monitoring measures. The dual discrepancy method utilizes a combination of these two indicators. What constitutes Tier 3? One of the key principles of the multi-tier system of support, which is represented by the RTI pyramid, is that instruction becomes increasingly intensive as students move from Tier 1 to Tier 2 and Tier 3. Tier 3 provides the most intensive and explicit instruction that focuses on remediation of skills. Here are six ways to make instruction more intensive in Tier 3. 1. Frequent progress monitoring. In Tier 3, students' progress is monitored frequently, weekly or even twice per week. Frequent progress monitoring is necessary to make sure that instruction is closely matched to the student's needs. It also facilitates making instructional decisions, such as modifying instruction if students are not responding. Teachers can set individual goals for their students and monitor their progress to ensure that they will meet those goals. Curriculum-based measures, or CBMs, are often used to monitor progress of academic skills because they are quick to administer, have demonstrated reliability, and are sensitive to change in ways that other standardized assessments are not. For example, if a student's progress is monitored using oral reading fluency, or ORF, teachers would be able to note changes as small as one word correct per minute. Two, individualized instruction. Tier three instruction takes place in small groups of one to three students. If the intervention group consists of more than one student, the group must be homogeneous in terms of the student's skill profile as determined by assessments. Unlike in Tier 2, where the focus is on the overall group needs, in Tier 3, the focus is on individual students' needs. As such, an individualized problem-solving approach is often coupled with a standard protocol. Standard protocol is the term used for an intervention, either a packaged, purchasable intervention or homemade, that is designed based on the skills that is target and is meant to be implemented in a particular way. In contrast, the individualized problem-solving approach starts with the student's needs. Combining these two approaches can be very effective because it facilitates the use of a tried and tested intervention, the standard protocol, while making room for individualization based on the student's specific needs. Three, increased frequency and duration of intervention. Tier 3 intervention occurs daily and is provided for a longer duration than Tier 2, both in terms of the number of minutes of instructional time and the overall length of the intervention. Instructional time can vary between 40 and 120 minutes per day, and the intervention can last upwards of 20 weeks. 4. More opportunities to respond. 
Studies have found that one aspect of student engagement known as academic responding is closely tied to student achievement. By providing students with more opportunities to respond, they are more likely to learn and master new skills. Responding can occur orally, either individually or as a group, which is known as choral response, in writing or with nonverbal cues, such as a thumbs up. While choral responses are effective, particularly in tier two, in tier three, individual responding should be prioritized. In tier three, we aim for eight to 12 opportunities to respond per minute to ensure a very high level of engagement, which allows students to consolidate new skills. Five, error correction. In all three tiers, providing students with corrective feedback is crucial and helps to ensure that they do not continue to make the same errors in the future. The distinction in tier three is with how explicit the feedback is. For example, in tier one, feedback may be a general prompt. In tier two, it may consist of a more specific prompt. For example, to look again at a word that was read incorrectly. However, in tier three, direct error correction is provided. For example, that word is cake. What word? And then you would wait for the student to respond correctly. In this procedure, you tell the student explicitly what the correct response is and then have them practice it. Six, scaffolding. Explicit instruction is an effective evidence-based practice that can be used in all three tiers. It consists of a structured instructional sequence made up of three steps, modeling, guided practice, and independent practice. In tier three, students require additional teacher support or scaffolding during guided practice. As well, the guided practice or we do step must be extended to ensure that students master new skills. Tier three instruction provides intensive individualized instruction to a small number of students who continue to struggle even after they receive targeted support in tier two. For more information about tiered instruction, check out our videos on implementing tier one and two. As well, you can find information on RTI more generally in our introductory video titled Response to Intervention.